This is the end zone. Let's move the chains. Now, the Colts were really, really impressive in their performance versus the Tennessee Titans, claiming the first position in the AFC South, moving quietly to 6-3. and three. They're not one of the most talked about teams in the NFL. My question to you real quick, especially if you're a Colts fan, how good do you think Phillip Rivers is? Now, yes, I don't want to put any dirt on his name. Phillip Rivers is an incredible quarterback, had a long career, He's ranking up there in the NFL in total passing yards. But is he is he going to win a Super Bowl for a team like the Colts in their franchise? Now, when I look at the Colts roster, they are really, really well-rounded. Like, this is a solid team. You look at their roster, you say, okay, they check the boxes for a bright future. And what do I mean by that? Well, football requires two main things, and you hear this all the time in the NFL. Can you get to the quarterback? And you can you protect the quarterback? I mean, those are the two basic building blocks of a solid NFL team. And the Colts do just that. Defensively, they're top five in almost all the major categories. DeForest Buckner is a force. Xavier Rhodes is one of the best cornerbacks in the league. Heck, their linebacking core, Darius Leonard, Anthony Walker, and Bobby Okariki, who's one of my favorite players because his name is so fun to say, and he really showed up against the Titans. I mean, this defense is real. There's no getting around it. The offense is where you have to raise some question for the Colts. Now, we know how good the O-line is, one of the best in the NFL. We also know that they really, really want to run the ball. They got Jonathan Taylor in the draft, but at times they can't. And the passing game has been a little suspect throughout this year. Now, again, I don't want to say that Phillip Rivers is necessarily a bad quarterback. I'm not saying that. But I am saying that the Colts might need a better quarterback or a younger quarterback to take their game to the next level. You know, he's got 11 passing touchdowns, 7 interceptions. The Colts are actually one of the better passing teams in terms of yardage in the league, but they don't score as many points. Naeem Hines actually leads the team with 4 reception touchdowns. Hines is a running back. They use him more as a wide receiving running back, but still... I don't think that it's a good sign that a running back leads the team in reception touchdowns. Now, there is starting to be an emergence of Michael Pittman, came from USC, and I think that that is a really bright spot while it is. I still think that there's a little bit more that Phillip Rivers needs to do. Something is a little off. And I want to wait till the end of the season to clearly set it in stone and make my decision on whether or not I think that the Colts should draft a quarterback in the first round of the NFL draft. But if I had to say if it's more of a wide receiver problem or a quarterback problem, I'd say it leans a little bit more on Phillip Rivers, but it's a little bit of both. Now, in this year's NFL draft, you heard me mention it. It is quarterback heavy. Five to six quarterbacks could go in the first round of the NFL draft. The Colts probably going to have a later pick, so it depends if a quarterback slides to them. But a quarterback like Mac Jones or Kyle Trask could potentially fall into the Colts' lap. And if their organization sees a quarterback like that in that position, you can't tell me you don't think about drafting him. Yes, Jacob Eason is an option coming from Washington, but come on. You don't want to be a franchise that misses on a franchise quarterback in the first round when your team is this solid. Now, receiver could be an option in the first round. There are always later rounds for wide receivers, though. And in this day and age, when first rounders are coming in at the quarterback position, playing, starting, playing at an elite level, too, you can't tell me that Frank Reich does not want to take a shot at a first-round NFL quarterback. Because there are guys in the league like Tua, Kyler, Burrow, Justin Herbert, even Pat Mahomes, who's in his fourth total year. You can't tell me he doesn't look around and see all this young talent coming into the NFL, being successful, and making these teams relevant. Like the Dolphins, Tua comes in, all of a sudden the Dolphins are one of the favorite teams to get into the playoffs. You got Patrick Mahomes lighting the league on fire. Lamar Jackson, I know he's having a down year this year, but he's a star. Kyler Murray is electric. 
The bottom line is the Colts are close. And they need to take the next step. Because they are so solid. They're so well-rounded. It's a great football team. But a first-round quarterback gets them a lot closer than they are now. I'd love to know your opinions on the Indianapolis Colts. Do you think that they should draft a quarterback in the first round if a player as good as Mac Jones or Kyle Trask falls into their lap? Thanks for watching The End Zone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment so we can move the chains. Thank you.